Over the past four years, this five-acre pasture on the University of Kentucky Spindletop Research Farm has often been the only green spot during the hot, dry days of summer. It's unusually green because this pasture was seeded with a variety of warm-season Bermuda grass developed specifically for pasture systems. University of Kentucky horse specialist Bob Coleman and graduate student Kristen Herbst have spent many hours rotating a group of horses between four or five grazing paddocks within this field. They keep track of body weights and condition scores. They observe the horse's grazing patterns and other behaviors and analyze forage samples with the help of the campus-based USDA Ag Research Service Unit. Coleman hopes their final results will point to a new management system to help horse owners maximize the potential of their pasture land during the hot summer months. I think a lot of horse owners have the idea that they'd like to feed some grain every day, but I don't think they take into account how significant the pasture and the forage component of their horse's diet really can be. <clears throat> so we wanted to show that by establishing a, a grazing strategy that would take advantage of as much forage as we could produce and move the horses as required, but still meet maintenance requirements. UK plant scientist Charles Doherty established and now directs the maintenance of the Bermuda grass pasture. He says this seeded, cold-hardy Bermuda grass tolerates Kentucky's cold winters and then thrives in the summer when cool season grasses go dormant. This, this grass will maybe, on a good day, could grow at, say, 400 pounds of rye matter per acre per day. Uh, in these temperatures, fescue, bluegrass, orchardgrass probably quit growing when it's in the 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a high quality grass. Uh, it's extremely fast growing and it's extremely high yielding. So the good news is that research has found a good clean forage base that can be grazed and harvested when other grasses are dormant. But Bermuda grass does have its challenges. It's a lot of work. There are a lot of resources that go into to work in a Bermuda grass pasture from establishing it, looking after the weed control when you get it started, looking after the nitrogen to keep it growing throughout the year, and taking your time to manage the grass. And that's probably the one resource that we don't quantify and we don't deal with, but it's probably the biggest one. You need to be walking the pasture on a very regular basis. Daily would work in order to make maximum use of the feed. Coleman adds that they now have enough solid information to wrap up the research this fall, and they'll start to work on a series of fact sheets on rotational grazing for release next year. He says horse farmers need to work on a new grazing strategy based on the forage that's available rather than working off a calendar.